And now, it's time for Southern California's Sports Fishing Voice. Let's talk hook up. For the next two hours, join Pete Gray, Rock Cod Rick Maxa, Corey Sandin, and this week's special expert guest for fishing information, new techniques to catch more fish, and the most current scoop on what's happening in the water. Let's Talk Hookup is sponsored in part by Ford, the official truck of Let's Talk Hookup, and Shimano Rods and Reels, fish with the best. Shimano, get ready for the fastest two hours on radio with the hosts of Let's Talk Hookup, Pete Gray, Rock Cod, Rick Maxa, and Corey Sandin. Good morning, anglers, and welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. I'm Pete Gray with Rock Cod, Rick Maxa. We're in the world headquarters of Let's Talk Hookup here, right next to the San Diego Landings in Point Loma, and we have a great guest for you today. Valerie Hoperich from Queen Charlotte Safaris, along with Captains Nathan and Captains Rob. We're going to be talking some fishing in this beautiful place in Queen Charlotte Islands. You stay tuned. This is Southern California's Sport Fishing Voice. It's Let's Talk Hook Up on the Let's Talk Hook Up app and the Mightier 1090 ESPN Radio. This is Captain Brandon Nelson from Lucky Bee Sport Fishing. Our dynamic fishery here on the West Coast is home to some of the most iconic game fish that swim the salty world. We demand tools designed to perform flawlessly and deliver the upper hand in any situation. That's why I use and recommend the all-new G. Loomis IMX Pro Offshore Series of Rods. It's a full lineup of purpose-built 20 to 80 pound class rods. I have been fortunate enough to be working with G. Loomis on the IMX Pro for some time to help develop the actions we need here on the West Coast, and they nailed it. The G. Loomis multi-taper design technology adds material where the blank is likely to fail and subtracts material where it won't. A C guide train and Fuji reel seat complement a battle on grip that offers extreme fatigue fighting comfort. They have been helping my passengers on Lucky Bee Sport Fishing land some amazing fish, and now they are ready for you. The new G. Loomis IMX Pro Offshore Rod Series at your local Shimano or G. Loomis Quality, the Islander out of Fisherman's Landing is a favorite among anglers, but Islander Charters is much more than great fishing. The quality of the captains and crew, as well as the great meals and service, speak for themselves. Comfortable staterooms, a super clean and well taken care of boat, are just a few of the reasons the Islander is so popular. The Islander specializes in one-and-a-half to five-day fishing. Experience the Islander difference. Visit islandersportfishing.com. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup. What a fun day. Perfect day to have Valerie in here. Yeah. Lots to talk about. Yeah, post yeah, show can, season, yeah, shows right? Are, shows are finished up. Now yeah. we just focus on fishing. Everybody was so... Uh, Excited to meet you at yeah. uh, at the different shows throughout the year. Good morning, Valerie. Good morning. Yeah, great I, to have you. You're, you're dead right about that. Like I had a countless number of people that came in and said, "Hey, which one's uh, which one's the Queen Charlotte's booth? We want to go meet Valerie." So yeah, I can I can attest that too. There was a lot of people that came like, by looking, looking for, for it yeah. at the PCS show. Yeah, so a lot of people anxious to talk to you today. Yeah, and I'm uh, excited. And you brought a couple of your captains, your yes. A team, right? My A team. Yeah, amazing. Yeah, for sure. Good morning, Nate. Nathan, good morning, Rob. Good morning, good morning, guys. Good morning guys. Hey, great to have you. And uh, Rob, you're going to stick with us for the entire two hours, right? Yeah, sure. I can stick around. You know why not, right? You, you're good at <laughs> it. But uh, Nathan, it's great to have you, and great to have you. I'm so looking forward to fishing with you in August up on Haida Gwaii at the Queen Charlotte Safaris. It's going to be so much fun again. Yes, sir. Yeah, I can't wait for that. Yeah, for sure. So, Valerie, tell us, first of all, for our listeners that don't know Queen Charlotte Safaris, tell us about it. About us? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Well, that would take a long time. (laughs) There's a lot to talk about. (laughs) Well, we are definitely uh, a a unique, I I tell everybody, we're unique. We are untouched, uncrowded part of the West Coast, Northwest Coast. We are an hour and 40-minute plane ride from Vancouver, British Columbia, not Washington State, British Columbia, British Columbia. <laughs> uh, into Haida Gwaii Islands, and we're an archipelago of 100 islands, and it's, it's so unique. It's all about location, location, location. And uh, we're, we're rich in fishing, but we're also rich in culture. Um, and being an archipelago of islands, a lot of people think we're part of Alaska, but we're not. We're just, we're, we're south about 90 miles from Ketchikan, north of Vancouver, and we have our own little, like, fishery, continental shelf going, and, uh, oh, it's beautiful where you fish. It's like, like when you go out fishing, you don't just see water, water, water. 
we just have the majestic uh, mountains and cliffs and trees and wildlife and very um, low pressure on the fishing and it's all about location it's just sure. it's so beautiful it's pretty amazing it's, awesome. it's and, amazing and nathan you live there you're fortunate to live there how would you describe the the haida Gwaii and uh queen charlotte safaris um i would say out here is this is another form of paradise in the northern coastal region and we're kind of like a little hidden gem right on the edge of the map yeah so to speak yeah very well said. Yeah. It, 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 the Hawaii of the North. The Hawaii of the North. I like that, Rob. That's great. Yeah, it is. It truly is. A, it's, it's a, a, the it's a northern paradise. Of yeah. the North. That, that would be, yeah. Yeah. And, and, and you, I, I really, you guys tell me if I'm wrong, but it's hard to describe the difference between Haida Gwaii and Alaska because it's different. It's different. Even though it's so close, it's very different, right? Yeah. It's, it's, yeah, it's like, not, I believe. I believe that the, like, when every, like, I remember hearing, like, during the Ice Age when all the ice was melting down here, and all of the clans from Alaska and everybody was uh, traveling down to get away from the ice, that Haida Gwaii was the one place that was not affected by that ice move. Interesting. Uh, wow. So that there kind of just can tell you about how much life has been living on these islands compared to up north where the ice kind of receded back. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah totally, totally. That's, that's really wild. Mm-hmm. Never heard that. So, mm-hmm. And that would explain why there's these dramatic cliffs and incredible old structure, you know, rock structures and, and trees. things like that. And trees everywhere. And, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, something that you would see here that you that you don't quite get to see anywhere else. Yeah. No, it is, it's, it's truly unique. And the other cool thing about it to me, is the remoteness of it. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's one flight a day. It's easy to get to. It's very it's easy. still remote. Yes, yeah. Yes. It's a one flight a day, easy flight from Vancouver, but it's it's out there, yes. right? Yeah. yeah. That's, that's the one beautiful part about this place and one of the reasons why I live out here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's right. mm-hmm. for sure. Yeah, it's uh, but but you know it, it's a it's a community though. I mean, it's a great community. You interact with the Haida Gwaii people a lot, right, Nathan? Yeah, yeah. Everybody everybody out here works together. Like you can still help your neighbor out, and everybody gets along and kind of. I don't know. It's almost like you go back in time a little bit when you live out here. That's I say right. definitely you go back in time. That's right. Which I I love it. It's so simple. People say. Do you get tired of being on an island? Like you're on an island. I'm like, no. That's the. I am. My feet are landed there. When I get there, I'm there. I'm not all over the place like I am when I'm traveling doing shows. And I love island life. It's yeah, very serene and very. It's calming to see the water and all the and just the beauty and the people and it's a special place. When I go there. Four days is not enough. I go there and it's like, I don't want to leave. Okay. It's so Everyone nice. Says that. You're just getting yeah. settled in. You're just getting settled in. It's just like the, the island life, as you say, is so mm-hmm. peaceful and, mm-hmm. and the people are so kind. And mm-hmm. yeah. Rob, your take on all that? Oh, yeah, for sure. It's, um, like I say, in Hawaii, the north of the Galapagos of the north, you've got a lot of different species there that are kind of subspecies that you don't necessarily. Uh, see the difference in, but there is a large difference in, and the uh, populations of animals there are just fabulous. It's like amazing to see all the different varieties of, of um, BC wildlife that you, I don't know, it's all like it's all compacted into one small area. It's kind of pretty neat. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. For sure. Now, um, Corey, our, our co-host, uh, is anxious to come back and fish with you, Rob. And uh, Corey, <laughs> Corey had ne- has never he, he hasn't experienced that before, and he he just I mean he just is. His, Corey his, was one of my favorite guests. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he was he was his eyes were wide open when he was there, right? He looked oh, like a kid in a candy store. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Definitely in the candy store. We had a good time. He definitely did. Yeah, yeah he was great. Well, be ready. He's coming back. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. In fact, uh, Valerie, when you're at the various shows, um, how do you describe Queen Charlotte Safaris? Somebody comes up so like, well, why should I come to Queen Charlotte Safaris instead of going to Alaska? I, location, location, location. Yeah. I mean, exactly everything we just said. And it's 
it's it's mystical and it's um, kind of serenity, but then you have all that action and adrenaline on the fishing side yeah, of right. it. So you kind of get, I just say, you know, if you're ready, it, you can unwind. You know, a lot of people, a lot of people, well, especially pff, people like uh, that have to be on the freeway for seven hours yeah. longer, <laughs> that kind of thing. But people like your drive down last yeah, yesterday. Yeah, my drive down yesterday. <laughs> Holy smokes! But it's and it depends how much time I have. Like you know, the questions they ask. But I really just say if you're looking, if you're looking for something that you're gonna have the action and you're gonna see the wildlife, but it also you unplug. Yes. I, I really talk about unplugging, mm-hmm. and I can tell, well, you know, it's say Dr. Smith or whatever, you know, I get their information, and I'm like, oh, I, I bet you really need to unplug. And he goes, yeah. yes, I do, and bring my sons, and this is all about bonding. So we do it all. Like, it's, for me, what I do, yes, it's about the fishing, but it's about bringing people together and connecting people. I love it. And connect, and then and they connect with Captain Rob or Captain Nathan and Chef and everybody. We're just one big family and we connect. And that's what we do. We connect people to nature through fishing and and get people to um, take a step back a bit and and just if fishing does gives you good adrenaline right. and um and it's teamwork i always talk about teamwork and it's teamwork on the boat yeah sure and um so you know just depending on the question i have lots of answers just depending <laughs> sure. on what they ask me i get asked everything sure so, but, the 30 minutes the 30 minutes in when the self signal drops you see yes. The whole attitude of people change. Yeah, yes. it's a good <laughs> so, thing. Yeah, they're unplugged. I yeah. mean, we have a sat, yeah. we have a sat phone and in reach and all that, but um, it is it, there's something very okay. So the first time, this is year 24 for me. You're 24 wow. at Queen Charlotte. Yeah. Uh, well, 19 for Queen Charlotte. I worked for someone for five years before right. in the trenches. In <laughs> the same in the same area. Yes. Yeah. In um, San Spit. So I landed in May of 2000, and I'm like, wow, this is really pretty. <laughs> like, you know, I've been to like Seattle and North. I was in the insurance world, so one of our, I made a lot of trips to Seattle for training and classes, and and I'm like, this is really really pretty. And then I fished one day. And I got to tour a day. I'm like, wow, amazing. And it's still as pristine today as it was 24 years How ago. How cool. So, it hasn't changed. No, and I love that. I yeah. It's just beautiful. Yeah, for sure. Quaint little town of Sanspit that we're in. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so Nathan, uh, Rob was saying that, you know, that first half hour you have cell service and then nothing. Why is that? Yeah. Yeah, when you're, when you're on the east side of the island... And you're in town and everything, and you leave the harbor, you have your service there until you get to the East Narrows. And uh, as soon as you enter into them, that is when you lose service, and that is when the true beauty appears. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. great. Bears and deer and eagles, eagles and trees otters and, and yeah. I mean, just everything. So, yeah. And, and just the whole change from, like, ocean to kind of like a little river, almost lake, and it changes every day. Mm-hmm. And that's that's the that's the drive to the to the honey holds. Yeah. Yeah. So ba- so so ba- Queen Charlotte Safaris uh, is located on the east side of the island, and you guys travel through a narrow cut between the two islands. The big islands. The two mm-hmm. big islands, and, and get to the west side or the mm-hmm. ocean side. Correct. That is correct. Yeah. Yeah. Location. And, location. Yeah, location. and that's where yeah. the really good fishing is. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Because on the west coast of Haida Gwaii, um, we have the largest salmon run that every every year we have king salmon, chinook salmon, and every species of salmon that come down our coast. And we're just a short drive right through the middle of of the whole island here, and we go right out into the middle of them. I've always loved how you guys have described, you know, how the fishing goes. That. You know that there's so much fish that are traveling, you know, traveling up or traveling down, and it's just such a, it's the grocery store. It's like such a collection of of food that they're always going through, and that, you know, day to day your fish change because you got batches of fish that are in there feeding. You know, whether they're traveling north or south, that, you know, that one day you might be catching 15 pounders, and the next day you're catching 20 pounders. <clears throat> 
and then the next day you're catching 10 pounders, you know, just because there's so much different bodies of fish that are moving up and down right in front of where you guys fish. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's crazy when you really think about it, like, and just even from going fishing different places, like around even on the south end and even into the mainland, when I first came out here, it was like, I don't know, it's almost indescribable, the, the fishery, when you when you finally come out here. Yeah, it's it, awesome. It's pretty special. One of the things, too, it's not just salmon, too, and, and, and 10 right. and 20 pounders are... Like most of those ten pounders are throwbacks, by the way, Rick. The, the salmon get pretty pretty large for sure. Twenty up to thirty, you get a lot of. Uh, what do you call them? Yep. IEs. Yeah. IEs. Yeah. Um, but the the bottom fishing there is is very different than those of us that maybe we experience at Kingfisher Charters in Alaska. Whereas you anchor and and chum up a spot, you guys don't anchor. You guys basically drift through shallow water, right? Yep, put it on top yeah. of the pinnacle or a shelf, and hopefully there's a bunch of big bad boys sitting down there waiting to take a chomp. But uh, if there's not, then we just move on over to another one, and there will be. That's yeah. cool. And and our limits our limits are quite a bit different too. Our limits are three ling cob per day, uh, six for your trip, and halibut are one and two. So that's a big difference from whenever where you're in Alaska, where you're allowed one ling a day. And salmon too. Yeah. Now, w- now, last year you said that there might be uh, yellow eye season. Is, 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 is that anything? So data has shown that the yellow eye in area two are prolific. Yeah. Um, now it just depends on whether DFO lets the uh, lets the gates open or not. But you guys obviously saw it. The uh, amount of yellow eye there is is a ridiculous, and the size of the yellow eye are, are absolutely gigantic, which is you know the premier rockfish. So fingers crossed, boys. Well, yeah, uh, we hope so. Yeah, we are exactly fingers crossed. When do they make those decisions? That can be any day. We we don't. They're like honestly, even with the salmon decisions on salmon limits, it's the night before. You have to. We have to check the rigs every single day. Every we don't day. get a. We don't get a heads up. We don't get anything. It's uh, it's yeah. It's the government surprise. Oh yeah, surprise, surprise. <laughs> Oh, you mean the Canadian government is very similar to the United States government? It's Not at all. No, we're, we're we're completely different. They give us about one minute notice. <laughs> <laughs> one minute. Notice. That's funny. Wow. Or a knock on the on my office door. Yeah. Like, oh, oh, by the way. Yeah, hey, heads up. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, we certainly hope so because I mean that the the amount of. R- yellow eye that we caught last year and had to just watch and send them back down was ridiculous. Really, and you had to move, you had to move spots so many times just to get away from them. That's crazy. I mean, so really, I mean, come on. <laughs> Hopefully, the Canadians are listening. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, as you can hear, we have a great show lined up for you today. Lots to talk about here. Let's talk hook up with the guys and gal from Queen Charlotte Safaris. No doubt about it. Yeah, going to be lots of fun. And we're really looking forward to your phone calls, your texts, and just enjoying a great time talking about a fantastic place with us this morning. If you want to join us on Let's Talk Hookup, give us a call at 213-432-1090. Again, 213-432-1090 is how you reach us on the phones. Or send us a text, as we always talk about texting the show. So popular now here on Let's Talk Hookup. And the only way to send in your text message questions is through the Let's Talk Hookup app. It's a free download. It's the easiest way to listen to Let's Talk Hookup. The only way to listen to all the great archive shows from the past. And a lot of fun, too. And, again, an easy opportunity to send in your text questions uh, to Valerie, to Rob, to Nathan. You can just send us a text via the Let's Talk Hookup app. When you do, make sure you include your contact info as well. Name and a phone number because if you win the big prize at the end of the show today, we want to make sure to get it to you. And what a prize we are giving away today. So how it works is we're going to have one lucky winner at the end of today's show. Valerie's going to flip a coin at the end of the show, and that coin is going to tell us whether the winner comes from the caller side or the texter side. And one lucky person <clears throat> is going to win a full, uh, excuse me, an overnight trip. An overnight trip at a Fisherman's Landing. We've got to give this prize away a couple times before. And basically, this is a certificate that's good for any boat that's running an open party overnight trip at a Fisherman's Landing. Doesn't matter what their schedule is. It might be a charter boat like the the Pacific Dawn or the Pegasus or the Fortune. If they have an open party trip running, 
You get to go, whatever it is, you pick your favorite boat, open party, overnight at a fisherman's landing, and you're going tuna fishing. Wow. How cool is that? Pretty cool. And again, that's going to go to one lucky caller or texter at the end of the show. If you want to get us on the phones, it's 213-432-1090. If you want us to text, make sure to pile it in that Let's Talk Hookup app. And when we come back, we're going to be taking your phone calls, reading those texts, so much more with Nathan, Rob, and Valerie. You stay tuned. It's Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty 1090 ESPN Radio and the Let's Talk Hookup app. I've had the opportunity to fish many places in many different types of water, but never have I fished a place as much fun as Katmai Lodge in Alaska. Hello, my name is Harold Davis, typically fishing in the ocean, but this is an experience that you have to try for yourself. Fish natural rivers with tens of thousands of fish coming up, and they have all the gear, spinning, bait casting, fly rods, kings, silvers, pinks, sockeyes, and my favorite, the chums. Outstanding food, outstanding accommodations, great service. The lodge is located in the beautiful Katmai National Park filled with amazing wildlife. Brown bears, moose, eagles, otters, and it has spectacular scenery. And also the fact that the lodge is located right on the Alagnac River and your boat is just steps away from your room makes it great. Do yourself a favor, call Charmel at 1-800-330-0326 or go online, katmai.com. And like Pete says, they will hook you up. Hey everybody, this is Captain Dwayne Diego, four-pack charter captain, here to talk to you about Parker Boats and the good folks at West Coast Marine. When it came time to start Pinnacle Sport Fishing and get my own boat, there was only one choice. I wanted a Parker. Then there's a real good reason for it. The fishability and seaworthiness. I've been fishing on Parkers for years now, and I know the abuse they can take. Parker Marine builds a heavy-duty, industrial-strength boat. Probably overbuilt, but that's what I need when we're out 12 hours a day, over 300 days a year, running charters. The guys at West Coast Marine built me one heck of a fishing boat. From the custom tower with steering and throttle controls to the backup bait pump system, my Parker 2520 XLD will deliver me to the fishing grounds reliably and safe. Take it from me. If you're ready for a new Parker at a fair up front honest deal, you need to see West Coast Marine located at 1555 Newport Boulevard in Costa Mesa or check them out and their inventory and information online at westcoastmarine.com. All of us at the American Angler family want to express appreciation to our regular passengers that fish with us year after year and to the new anglers that came out this last season. We realize how precious your vacation time is, and we are truly grateful that you have chosen to spend this time with us. It's important that your experience is memorable, from the moment you call the office to the time you step off the boat. Hi, I'm Lori. Call me at the office, 619-223-5414, or check us out at AmericanAnglerSportFishing.com. Come fishing with the American Angler family and make a memory. Turner's Outdoorsman, Southern California's number one shooting, hunting, and fishing tackle retailer since 1971, is right in your neighborhood. Now with stores throughout Southern, Central, and Northern California, no one does it better. Turner's Outdoorsman brings you the best prices and selection, plus a knowledgeable staff that will help make your day on the water or in the field more fun. Stop by your neighborhood Turner's Outdoorsman. To find the location nearest you, check the web at turners.com and sign up for special deals and more. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup. As you can imagine, everybody's excited to talk to Valerie and Nathan and Rob. We do have one phone line still open. The rest are packed, but we've got one opportunity. It's 213-432-1090, and we've got a ton of great tech stacking up as well. A ton of great techs already. Matt uh, is signing in here, says, good morning. Great show. Question about the lodge. If weather comes up, does it affect all fishing types or the lodge for only hardcore anglers as its spouse friend? Uh, do, do, do you want one of the guides to take that, or do you want yeah, me to take that? Yeah, well, um, what do you think? Yeah, we always go ahead, Rob. Yeah, yeah. There's always guides, somewhere to yeah. fish. So there's yes. always somewhere to fish there. Like always. our run out to the our run out to the west side is completely protected until we get to the last ten minutes, which is dependent on what's going on with the weather. Um, other than that, you're completely protected the whole way. The ride is beautiful. Uh, once we get out there. You can experience some, some uh, definitely weather, but um, you know there's always somewhere where we can go and put the boat where you're not going to be getting trashed all day and you're going to be able to catch fish. Um, yeah, there's, there's. I think in the last two years there was one day where it was pretty rough and we almost all took a, you know, we 
we went in maybe one o'clock in the afternoon. But uh, other than that, we haven't had a day where we have ever been shut out. It's one not like day you're on two the years, of, uh, I'll take that. I'll take those odds. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, but it, even even on that day, we were out fishing. You know, sure, so, sure. I mean, that, that was sporty. It was a little sporty out there, but. Uh, we're definitely still efficient, and we definitely limited out before we came in. <laughs> yeah. And Nate, and Nathan, um, uh, all the all the boats have cabins that are heated, right? And you can stay dry. Yeah, if it's everything raining. everything's super nice when it's when it's not very nice outside. And the stuff you can't control, you just walk inside. We have a little Wallace heater there, diesel heater that you turn on, and it gets the cabin almost too hot sometimes. That's cool. Mm-hmm. And so it's real cozy there. There we have bathrooms on boards for for everybody. Make it real easy, and you're very comfortable. Okay. Um, I know that. Go ahead. Uh, you have a lot of ladies and yes. couples that come too, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So which makes it very easy for everybody. If you got to do your business, you got to do your business. There's uh, there's always time for that, and it's always warm and get out of the weather. It's very spacious. Yeah, the yes. boats are really. Good. I, had a, I had a boat of grandmas last year. It was great. A boat of grandmas, really? <laughs> yeah. Ladies. That's cool. Yeah. yeah, he did. Do you? So you get groups of ladies that just come up? Yeah. So. Um... To answer uh, Matt's question, I just wanted the guides to give their part. Sure, yeah, is of course. We have grown into probably about 35% couples now. No kidding. Wow, that's yeah. great. Whoa. We have some groups this year that are all couples. Like all the whole, wow. the whole, whole lodge. lodge is that's all couples. Awesome. Yeah. And, but we're getting more and more lady anglers like, I'm solo. I really want to come up. Can you put me? I'll fish with men. I don't care. I just love to fish. So. Get more of that. Yeah, the, yeah. That's great. The three grandmas were all solo, weren't they? Were the three? Yes, uh, they were three, all. <laughs> don't call them grandmas. <laughs> no, what do you want me to call them? I'm trying to get a new demographic ladies. going here. Well, yeah. <laughs> the three, the three ladies that were about 50 years old were all single. <laughs> that's so rad. Yeah, How so fun. fun. Yeah, that, that's they, great. They, <clears throat> excuse me, they were great. <laughs> but we're very lady friendly. But we're also very family friendly. And but we do corporate retreats. Um, we can just we do it all. It's yeah. like grandpa brings his son, granddaughters are coming with you know dad and grandpa and grandsons and uh, friendly. And the way I schedule, like if I have a corporate retreat and we have quite a few of those, and sometimes they like to party a little bit because they're away from the office. <laughs> so I'm not going to put a whole bunch of uh, families with that particular group. So right. I'm very I. That's what I do. I match people up, and I try to match the groups up so that everyone's comfortable, and and it's a match, and yeah. everybody has a good time. And the lodge is small, 24 people. Yeah. We so could do it's 32, not, but yeah. we're not ready. We're not, uh, it's, yeah. You're not there yet. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. I like it the way you keep it. You keep it very it's intimate, mm-hmm. and it's a, it's, you know, everybody knows everybody. It's, that's it, so fun. Yeah, it's, it's really fun. And the service, beyond comprehension. And that's what it's all about. Yeah, for sure. Yes. For sure. Hey, uh, great text. Let's jump in the phones, right? Yeah, you got it. Well, the phones are packed up. Why don't we start this morning with our buddy Alex? He's calling us from San Carlos. What's up, Alex? Thanks for getting us started here on the phones. Hey, good morning, guys. Uh, I just had a question on getting your fish back. How much fish are you able to take back? How much is it? Um, and how does that whole thing work? Does it just go on the plane with you, or does it get shipped back uh, separately? Great question. Yeah, good question, Alex. So, um, with all your custom fish processing is included. Um, it's down to about a one and a half pound portions, filled out, bone out, skin on, vacuum packed, and it goes into a insulated uh, fish box, so it stays frozen. It's like a styrofoam insulate. I mean, this is Inside like your real box deal box. boxes. Yeah. 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 So in the box, and so when we check you into Sandspit, depending where you're flying to, if you're going to go all the way home. Um, we can check your fish from Sandspit through Vancouver to, let's say, LAX or San Diego or wherever it may be. Um, so, th- and the way we we include your airfare from Vancouver to the lodge and return. So part of the package. Part, yeah, it's part of your package, and in that package, we book it in flex class, meaning your first checked box of fish and or baggage. So that's why we say bring carry-on luggage. 
backpacks, things like that, um, is included. And uh, we do seat assignments. So we do, we're kind of a all-in travel concierge service yeah. as well as a, everything else. And um, so it can go all the way through. If you have to overnight in Vancouver because maybe you're on the East Coast or wherever you're at, most people stay at the Fairmont, and they have a fish valet, not a car valet. It's a fish, fish valet, valet for your fish. And, <laughs> a and freezer right there. A freezer right there, and you get a little card, and then the next morning you get your fish, and then you get onto your flight. So uh, we take care of all of that. That's, That's cool. Hey, uh, Nathan, I, I, thanks a lot for the call, too. It's a, a, Thank the you fish, for The fish on. quality, too, yeah. I might add, is, is exceptional. Yeah, no, Actually. thanks for thanks for letting me on, and yeah. it's good to hear from you guys. Yeah, I know you yeah, have to get the too talk, right? What was that, Rob? I said, see you up there soon. I'll be up there in a couple weeks. Yeah, yeah. Nathan works uh, works in San, right yeah. at the airport in San Spit. It's, it's, awesome. it's a bustling airport. <laughs> right? How many flights do you have today, Nathan? Oh, I don't even know. Can't even keep track. Some days, sometimes one, sometimes they don't even come. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the winter months. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, that's yeah. great. Well, great no, to have you on, Nathan. I'm, I'm very excited to fish with you in August, and I know you're going to be greeting people and uh, showing them su- such a good time. And uh, hopefully, we we catch that w- that world record ling this year together. Go get him. Yes, sir. Yeah. No, it's it's a beautiful day out here. The days are getting longer every every day as they come, and just fishing's around the corner. And I just I have the itch now, so it's coming. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> All right, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Thank you, Nathan. Nathan. Very much. Hey, yeah, Bart. Have Hall. a good day, guys. You too. Bart Hall's on the line. Good morning, Bart. Hey, Bart. Good morning. Good morning, Bart. Rick. Good morning, Pete. How are you? Great. Great. I, I, <laughs> you have one of my favorite people on your show today. Hi, Valerie. Hi, Bart. Good morning. Good morning. I listen. I thought of something. You, this was really instructive, Valerie. Today, there, you know, there's location, location, location. There's one other reason, Pete. It's Valerie, Valerie, Valerie. Yes, <laughs> oh, you're right. No doubt about that. You're right. Yeah. This is the hardest working human being, not just woman, but human being I've ever met. I mean, do you know anybody you that works as hard that. as Valerie? Right, Rob? Am I correct on that? You better believe it. I, I, it blows my mind every season. It's unreal. And then even in the off season, you wouldn't. You guys don't have a clue. <laughs> Yeah, she just is working all the time. Yeah, and that's just because she keeps everybody happy, right? Yeah. Well, I care. Well, you know, you know what, Valerie? I I, I figured out something today too. You you I felt I've always felt uh, an emotional connection with you, even though I, in full disclosure, I have not been to the lodge. But I. Well, hey, I Bart. Do, you know what? I, there's some spots <laughs> available in June. You should come and yeah. check it out. Well, that. That's really good, but until my knees get fixed, I, I, I'm not really good on boats right now. But, oh, okay. you know, the, the thing that I noticed today, Valerie, I understand why that come up, uh, that we're connected now. Um, I don't sell anything. I don't sell fishing tackle. I don't sell hunting stuff. I don't sell trips. I don't sell boats. What I do do is try to nurture the outdoor recreation community and to build it as best I can. And I think that's exactly what you do. That's the thing you really do. It's not the lodge, it's not the fishing, it's not the location. It's your commitment to doing that, to getting people out to see the stars at night, to see the sun come up over the water, to to put the cell phones down. And I think that's more important now than at any time in my lifetime. And uh, I just wanted to thank you for that. Well, thank you. And you get me. You're mm-hmm. spot on. That's, that's it's it, all right? about is the bringing people. We're only here on this planet once, right? Yeah, it's not sure. a dress rehearsal. No. And let's make the best of it. Yes. And Bar, I did amazing in Long Beach. Thank you for putting me in my wonderful spot and uh, surrounded by so many wonderful uh, exhibitors next to me. And I will be right back. Next year. Yeah, you had a great spot right on the yeah. corner in the main the yes. spot. That was great. Yeah, and, and you a took beautiful care of looking me. Thank booth. You. She must know somebody who sets the booth up. <laughs> Bart, great to hear from you, and uh, uh, you're gonna get, go get that knee fix so you can go fishing up yeah, in Charlotte. Yeah, exactly. Well, I, I would spend the last few days up at the Central Valley Sports Show. You know, we're we're expanding our our, uh, our hunting section and everything. So. Uh, they have a lot of that up there, so I had a really great time. Got to see a lot of friends, and and it's been wonderful. And I'm going to get them fixed, but I got to get this thing rolling for the next year. Then I'm going to get my right one done, and then we'll see what happens. All right, I like good it. luck with it. All right, appreciate your call. Thank you. This Thank you, Bart. See you, Bart. 
You have a great Fire text? I, I thought so, yeah. It says, uh, good morning, Pete, Rick, and Valerie. Are you able to accommodate groups of three? The party would consist of myself, my wife, and sister-in-law. The girls are crazy about fishing and new experiences. I'm also looking forward to our new adventure in your beautiful area of British Columbia. Uh, I can't wait to book our trip. We're coming in 2025. Thanks from uh, Drew, Deb, and Kathy. That's Team No Bananas. The No Bananas team, yeah. No Bananas <laughs> team. Uh, yes, we can accommodate three. Yeah. No problem. Just reach out to me uh, via email or text me, and I'll give you all the details. Yeah, because there's a, a lot of X factors, and and you'll uh, yes, you know, there's they will have such a great time. Oh, a great time. Yeah. They so will. you know that you know these people. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. No, fun. they're great. They come uh, on a lot of trips with us, and they've been all over Alaska and Mexico with us, and uh, Drew and Deb are. Are, are truly great people. So love it. I can't wait. Them. Yeah, really yeah, fun. For awesome. sure. Yeah, Thank they were going to come this year. They really wanted to come this year, but our trips were full. Yes. So they booked for 2025. Yes. So if anything opens up, let them know. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This year. yeah. I don't uh, think nothing's going to open this year. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like it's pretty For your solid. trip. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I have another great text here. Mark in L.A. says, Valerie, what is the food like at the lodge, and what kind of lunch do they pack when you go fishing? Good question. Everybody wants to eat. Totally. I know. Well, I have an amazing uh, lodge team, and Chef John is cool. he's the best. He's yeah. awesome. Uh, Five star. Well, interesting. While I was stuck in traffic, I'm like, I'm going to call Chef John, and we're going to have we talk for two hours. <laughs> yeah, cool. <laughs> Planning the food. So mm-hmm. we we are very mindful of anyone's dietary needs for sure. Like, not a problem. And we always we want to bring on the BC West Coast flair and in, into our menu, and so we, you know we will do halibut, we'll do fish, but for those that don't eat fish, Chef has many other things. He's very talented. Um, grew up in Scotland, got his culinary degree in Scotland, and then also the UK, and now and he always wanted to live in Canada, so he lives in Vancouver. So he's very well versed in everything, and he hand makes or. Uh, Home makes, however you'd like to say it. Um, all the salad dressings are all made. Mm-hmm. Chef John, he does a lot of, he's very sensitive to health conscious, right? But still super delicious food. And I love how he does his veggies and pairs it with the food. Mm-hmm. And he knows how to cook fish just right yeah, and cool. steak and you, you name it, he, he can cook it. it. So you we, know, we do I, crab look, night. He, oh my God. Rob? Yeah. Yo. Yeah, the food's pretty yeah, good. Lunch is made fresh every day. Yeah. Lunch is made or every morning are custom made, whatever you like. And we're actually going to kick it up a notch this season with uh, some special little treats in your lunch that uh, yep. you're going to want to check out. Oh, All right. Right. We're cool. adding, we're doing, so we're changing we're, we're, what you've had in the past. We can still do it, but we're we're, we're changing some things up and adding some. He, Chef had some really good ideas. I'm oh, like, oh, cool. that sounds great. <laughs> yeah, no, but, the lunches you take with you are amazing. Well, because it's the you bars this year. You get to custom right. order your lunch, and we don't do like the wraps and the sandwiches. Um, in the evenings, they're done like four o'clock in the morning, right. so they're fresh. Before you leave, fresh coffee, refreshments, everything, and we're just we're gonna do some other things this year. Yeah, and That's then exciting. when when you come back from fishing, hot soup and appetizers. Yeah. Before dinner. Before dinner. Yeah, yeah. If you don't gain five cocktail. pounds, it's your fault. Yeah. So I so, promise, <laughs> the food is amazing. No, the food is it's it's gourmet. It's it's going like going to five star restaurant every day. I, I will say this about the the food is not only gourmet but it's also healthy too like you said Mm -hmm. because it's the only lodge i go to that i can actually shoot pictures and send them back to my wife and (laughs) And i don't get in trouble yeah for sure (laughs) well and and olive oil you know it's all about we use a lot of olive oil instead of canola oil and he's just he's yeah i mean everyone has different needs of different tastes for food How, how long has your chef been with you this will be season five. That's awesome. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Would have been six, but we didn't get to. He's a wonderful sure. guy. Yeah, that's for great. Sure. Somebody named Jamie's on the line. Do you know somebody named Jamie? I do. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning, Jamie. My fire sister. <laughs> oh, I have to tell a story. Good morning, Jamie. This is your daughter. It's my daughter, Hi, Jamie. Hi. <laughs> I'm so glad you called in. Good morning, everyone. Uh, Good morning. Jamie has been part of the business since she was in, um, like, eighth grade. Or, well, 24 years ago, so do the math, <laughs> however. And, now, so um, everyone knows. 
<laughs> she all those posts you see in social media, um, emails and newsletters you get from us. That's the that's, that's the person Shirley. behind the scene. That is Jamie. And she worked at the lodge. She did sandwiches. That's awesome. <laughs> she bartended sandwiches, whatever she had to do. And so did her brother, and so has her sister. And or her sister, little sister, still does. Uh, uh, comes up to the lodge. And I love it because Rob and Jamie are both April 8th babies. They have the same birthday. That's why I said fire sister. That's cool. Wow. <laughs> happy yeah. birthday. Yeah, April Coming 8th. Up. Yes, for both of them. <laughs> You. Yeah. Well, so, you uh, how all do you gather about, all your? Go ahead, Jamie. Well, I was just gonna say I heard everyone talking about grandmothers, so I thought I'd call and say that we have another grandmother uh-huh. yeah, today on be me. the line. And... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I have a, a, a new baby. Oh, that's awesome! Congratulations. congratulations. That's Close so cool. To yeah. Rick. Yeah. Yeah. I think they're like two weeks apart. Okay. That's awesome. So yeah. you could be one of those grandmas on the boat. I can. Yeah. That's, that's not I'm so in, bad. I'm in right? my fifties. Okay. Yeah. That's so bad. That's why she didn't like me saying that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm like, exactly. come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Fifties are good. So it's a real. So Queen Charlotte's Far is a real family operation. Yeah. Even Jamie for the real family, but Rob. Rob and Nathan and uh, Chef John, uh, they're all part of your family, right? Well, think about it. We're like 125 days, sometimes more, whatever, you know, from startup to shutdown and then the whole season. And I think we spend more time with each other than we do our our family families yeah. because it's, you know, this is what we do. Totally. And, um, yeah, you have to, you have you get very close sometimes we have our moments just like family families sure, do absolutely. Okay, you you work you're a team and you work through it that's, that's awesome cool. and jamie with the new baby how much time you get to spend up at queen charlotte safaris man i just get to virtually hang out this summer <laughs> but maybe i can go up next summer <laughs> next summer okay yeah i'm sure you miss it definitely when hopefully that's yes with the little one <laughs> Yeah, well, great to hear from you. Keep up the great work. The social media, of course, you're big on uh, what platforms? Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn mostly, but we're very popular on Facebook. Yes, yeah, that's awesome. well, you do I a great job. Time. Yeah, really good job. And and the her, and the emails. That Thank go you. Out. Yeah, they're great. All the email blasts and everything. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Like the invite to here. She did it's really she fun. Did a nice little collage. Yeah, that was really fun. You, yeah. you did a great job. Collage? Totally, I did. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, keep up the great work and uh, good you. luck with the new baby. Yeah, get some sleep. <laughs> I'm feeling your pain. I get it. Thank you. I'll try my best. <laughs> a bit of it. <laughs> Thanks very much, Jamie. Hey, when we come back, we got a lot more Let's yeah. Talk Cook Up coming your way. More your phone calls, more catch reports, and a whole lot more questions for the team from Queen Charlotte Safaris. You stay tuned. It's Let's Talk Cook Up on the Mightier 1090 ESPN Radio. Everyone has their go-to fishing spot. My spot is Kingfisher Charters in Sitka, Alaska. Rock Cod Rick here to say if you're looking for the ultimate Alaska experience and the best value in Alaska, it's Kingfisher Charters. Owner Seth Bone and his crew consistently delivered deluxe accommodations, the finest food, world-class fish processing, and top-of-the-line fishing experience. We've literally sent hundreds of our listeners to Kingfisher, and they all can't wait to go back. Most Alaska resorts make big promises, and they don't deliver, or they'll nickel and dime you to drive up the cost, but not Kingfisher. Everything is included. Your license, fish processing, super deluxe accommodations, amazing food, airport transfers, your gear, literally all you need to bring is your layer clothing and Kingfisher covers the rest. They also have the finest boats and charter captains in Sitka, all for the ultimate value. Take it from me. Book your trip to Kingfisher Charters and you'll thank me. Kingfisher Charters, 800-727-6136 or check kingfisharcharters.com. This is Art Taylor of Searcher Sport Fishing. Join Captain Mike Totter, Chef Josh Evans as a new era begins for Searcher Sport Fishing. Mike and Josh will continue the legacy of excellent customer service, fantastic food, and an amazing crew. Book your fishing adventure now online at searchersportfishing.com or call Celia at 619-226-2403. Searchersportfishing.com, 619-226-2403. 
In San Diego, the future belongs to everyone. So Ford engineered the truck of the future for everyone. The Ford F-150, available with a pro-power onboard generator. What a great addition for anglers. There's also a variety of cab configurations for whatever you need to haul. The truck of the future isn't created for just a few. It's created for us who love the ocean and the outdoor life. Ford F-150, test drive one at your local San Diego County Ford dealer today. They'll be glad to hook you up. Long range fishing, nothing beats Shimano. Hi, this is Doug Kern from Fisherman's Landing Tackle, the saltwater tackle professionals. Come check out the Shimano Talica, the pinnacle of lever drag two speed reels. The Talica features Shimano's Hagani body when throwing jigs. The Shimano Trinidad is your top choice with the extreme cranking power and Shimano Super Free Spool provides extreme castability. You'll be able to put your jig in the Wahoo Zone. For all your Shimano needs, visit us at Fisherman's Landing Tackle at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego. Great fishing is what Seaforth Sports Fishing in Mission Bay is all about. With free parking and fully stocked tackle shop, Seaforth Sport Fishing is a favorite among anglers. Come aboard top boats like the Aztec, Cortez, Endeavor, Apollo, Outer Limits, Elgato Doe, Pride, Polaris Supreme, Tribute, Pacifica, Pacific Voyager, and the Voyager. Plus, the new Seaforth Sea Watch in San Diego offer the finest half and full day trips available. Seaforth Sport Fishing. For charters or schedule, check SeaforthLanding.com. Run by fishermen for fishermen in Mission Bay. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup. Boy, having a great time here this morning. Phones have been very busy again. If you want to get through, it's 213-432-1090. As promised, it's time to find out what's biting out there today. It is time for the Catch Report. Today is sponsored in part by one of our absolute favorites. The best quality, easy in and out, and the lowest prices on gas. That's Summit Gasoline at the San Diego Sports Arena. Pull up to their expanded Summit Gasoline and get those low, low gas and diesel prices for your car, truck, or your trailer. Trailer boat. Now they can accommodate 24 cars and trucks to fuel at the same time, plus 12 diesel pumps. The bistro is full of all of the great things that you need for a day on the water. Plus, you get 100 pounds of free ice with a 35-gallon fill. Say hi to Martha and the friendly staff at Summit Gasoline. Free ice for Let's Talk Hookup listeners, and always those low prices at the San Diego Sports Arena. We're going to start it off as we always do at our favorite up at Dana War Sport Fishing. Talk to the man, Captain Brian Woolley is on the line. What's up, Willie? Hey, good morning, everybody. How are you guys doing this morning? Very fun. It was good super fun seeing you at the shows and hearing about Likewise. all the great fishing. And boy, well, you guys had a did a great job in the booth there. Lots of lots of different captains from Dana Wharf. It was really fun to get to see everybody. Cool. Yeah, it was good to have a little presence up there. We had a, a good show. So uh, yeah, it was good to see you guys too. So mellow week up here for us. Just kind of wanted to check in and give you a quick rundown of what we got going up here. Our bass fishing was a little bit slower this week. Uh, water temps. Dipped a little bit, a degree and a half or two. It's just kind of enough to slow things down. But uh, the half day action was still uh, consisted of good sheephead fishing on the shrimp. The guys that are bringing the shrimp are definitely, uh, you know, seeing some nicer sheephead there. We were catching some of those on the slab sardines and the cup bait as well. Dropper loops, I'd say sliding sinkers, those fish probably the best for the guys. They also kind of went down a little bit in their line size. 15 to 12 pounds seemed to be getting some bites. Some guys fishing some 8 pound did pretty well too on the bass it was just kind of a minor week of adjustments with that kind of stuff so it was a little bit more of a challenge but uh, most of those bites did come off the bottom for for that bass stuff for us for the half day guys three-quarter day kind of still uh chipping away at the white fish and the sculpin you know we're, we're chomping at the bit for this rockfish opener to come it can't come quick enough so uh <laughs> good opportunities still continue on that uh on that sculpin and that white fish you know as we push through the next two weeks so a little bass sample, too, on some of that inside stuff there through Pendleton. A couple of the guys went inside there after they got their fill of sculpting this week. Caught a few bass and some sheep hit on some of those hard bottom spots and whatnot inside that little zone. So that was good to see in there. And then uh, finally, just to kind of wrap this up here, the Fury, he's getting things wrapped up on his major boat work projects. He's, Mark's been uh, redoing the galley, getting some stuff fixed up inside there, which has been nice. Um, he's got his April and his May schedule up online so i know there's a lot of people we had a lot of fury interest at the show there if you guys wanted to uh, check out his schedule again it's all online he's going to be fishing i'd imagine he'll be starting off at tank island will be the destination for those april trips hard to say what may will bring with some of that good fishing that's kind of going on down below you know that that bluefin can make a move pretty quick so we'll yeah. see what he's doing in may but uh i'd imagine april's going to be rockfish and maybe look around for some yellow there at uh, colmeny so 
Again, those are up. Book those fast because, you know, those, those do fill pretty yeah, quick. So quick. pretty mellow week for us. So we're uh, back at it again as we crank towards uh, April 1st. Uh, didn't get sign of that rockfish. So we've been descending quite a bit of stuff as a little bit of bycatch with that uh, sculpin. But uh, things are shaping up, so I imagine we're going to be busy. we got two boats running on the first, so if you want to fish with us three-quarter day, I'd say call the office and make that reservation. So our number here, 949-496-5794. Of course, you can link us there through the Les Hakuka page or hit us directly at danawolf.com. Yeah, and, and beautiful week of weather, I might add, this week. So Absolutely. get out there and go fishing. We'd love to take you. Give All us right. Call. Thanks, Willie. Pre- appreciate it very much, as always. Well, while we're waiting for our surf guru, Gundy Gunderson, to come through, had another great text. Uh, this one is almost the opposite of, uh, of Drew's question with the group of three, and this one comes from Ernie from Prosper, Texas. My question, do you take single reservations, Valerie? If so, are there single rooms at the lodge? And then my other question is, what type of clothing do you think um, will be best when I pack my trip? Can't wait to come see you guys. I love it, Ernie. Yes, we do take singles, and I have about four dates. I do need a single angler, so um, I have one in June, and I have one in July, and I have one in August. Actually, I have two in June. So uh, if you reach out to me, I'll I'll announce everything at the end, how to reach out to me, and uh, not a problem, and you can have your own room. In the past, you know, I hate to bring up the pandemic, but, you know, single anglers would share a room, but I'm very mindful of... You know, what's happened to us, and people are a little more private about where they sleep. They're okay on the boat, but having their own room means means a lot. So, absolutely. So, that's why I have certain spots, and then you can have your own room. That's very cool. Uh, Layered clothes, by the way. Layered layered clothes. clothes. And that's something, you know. um, And you'll get a welcome packet telling you what to pack. That's cool. And and that's the cool thing. is like you're talking about, you can bring everything you need in a carry-on. Yes. So that you don't have to pay an additional fee for a bag when you go home with your fish. Um, Because all you need is layered clothes. Layered clothes. Clothes. That's we, all we you have need. Because you have, yeah, yeah. you have top of the line rain gear, you have top of the line boots, yep. everything else you need for a day on the fish. We even have bathrobes and blow dryers and yeah. all the little amenities that's in your so room. Rad. Good yeah. job. <laughs> that's the woman's surprise, touch. surprise, right? <laughs> yeah. Yes. That, that's cool. Ernie, just re- reach out to me. I'll, I'm going to announce how to reach out to me at the end, and um, I'll give you those dates for. Um, coming up as a single angler. And uh, just a quick story on a single angler. I have a group of gentlemen coming in June that, uh, that I think are way back in the early 2000s that came all by themselves, and now they've become buddies, and they come back together. That's, That's so cool. Right? I love right? that. Yeah. The yeah. rooms are very comfortable. Yeah. The and beds so, are great. Yeah, the beds mm-hmm. are great, and it's easy. To, everybody mm-hmm. has their own bathroom. So yep. sharing a room with a, a friend or even a new friend yeah. is not no a big problem. Deal. Yeah. It's not a big deal But, I, but we're, I'm sensitive and mindful to yeah. someone that if they really need to have their room. So that's why... I you do, don't have I, everybody can't have their own room, no. but there's there's, there's yeah there's certain search situations yes. that you can accommodate. Yes, yeah, that's cool. Hey, we well, let, yeah, let's continue on with our catch report. We got the man, the surf guru himself, Gundy Gunderson, is on the line. What up, Gundy? Hey, what's going on, folks? He's anxious to hear from you. Was there uh, a little surf fishing to be had this week? Yeah, you know, we're seeing we're seeing it just. Just turning around, you know, the weather's been persistent, of course, wind swell, probably not the best uh, tides this week, but we're seeing a real good sign of life, and I think, you know, with this next week, we got good weather, good tides, the first week of spring, so uh, I anticipate things are going to take off pretty quick. That good barred perch bite rebounded on several beaches, Santa Barbara, South Bay beaches, Bolsa Chica, Oceanside, lots of fish over the 10-inch mark. Also improved halibut catches, lots of smaller fish, but this could be, you know, the sign that those males are moving in and we're going to see those bigger hens right behind. Hook line sinker reported some good barred perch action off several beaches. Anglers found perch to 12 inches, halama, gaviota, galita, carpinteria, typical spots, bloodworms, Lugworms, mussel, the natural baits, fished it a little better. Uh, halibut anglers also reported lots of 18 to 22 inch fish, uh, taking small swim baits, flukes, uh, just fishing. Also reported on the South Bay Beach is some good sign there. Uh, perch action was solid off El Segundo, Hermosa, 
several legal halibut, I think a 25-inch fish topped the catch there, and then a handful of striped bass uh, to 8 pounds, and those fish were taken on swim baits and some bait concentrations off Dockweiler. Uh, Big Fish reported that solid perch action off Sunset, Surfside, Bolsa Chica rebounded this week with better conditions. Fish to 13 inches, which is better quality than you usually see on those beaches, so uh, that's something to look at there. Um, and then lastly, um, Pacific Coast reported some good halibut action, and this is something to keep an eye on, in and around the mouth of the lagoons. Not big fish, but 25 to 30-inch fish. Uh, the live smelt bite was was real good. Uh, swim baits, jerk baits working more and more. Still some quality perch there from the Oceanside Pier to Oceanside uh, Harbor, the South Jetty there. Two-pound, 11-ounce ended up winning their perch derby, which is a nice fish. They also had some yelping croaker biting uh, around in and around the lagoons there, and then some small corbina. So, you know, c- considering the conditions and the weather last week, uh, that's pretty good catch. And I, I imagine when the weather warms up this next week, good tides, spring is, I think the first day of spring is midweek or something. We're going to get going real fast here. Yeah. I like stay on. All right. Hey, Gundy Gunnarsson, surf guru extraordinaire. Thanks a lot for a great report, as always. And we'll talk to you next Sunday, springtime. Sounds good. Have a good week, gentlemen. Yeah. Sharpen those hooks. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Thanks, Gundy. Well, phones have been packed. Uh, very patient callers. Let's jump into it. Rick. Yeah, let's do that. How about we talk to Mary Ann calling us from Ukaipa this morning. Hey, Mary Ann, welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Hi, Valerie. Is this um, the Mary Ann uh, who I think is Mary Ann? I think it's Marianne. Uh, yes. Nah. Uh, we were just talking about the ladies of Marianne. I see, Rob. Yeah. Marianne brings all the good snacks. She does bring the good yes. snacks. Uh, I got to tell you, we went up right after COVID, and um, Valerie asked us, you know, if you want to come up, we have this uh, – um, father and son, and it's the last trip. And we waited for a, over a year to go up there um, because of COVID. And we had Nathan, and we were the only ones up there with Mike and Zach. And Valerie made sure we were with a good friends and all that we've made. Um, and it rained, and Nathan was out there with a little uh, pillar on the back. He didn't have his new boat, and and it rained, and uh, it was wonderful. If I was so scared to go, and this is our fourth time going up there now, <laughs> and due to uh-huh. Valerie, like you said. Um, and the food is five star. If anybody ever wants to go on a luxury vacation, go up to Queen Charlotte because I got to tell you, it was so wonderful. I and I didn't like salmon. I love salmon now. And John is wonderful. And we have made family. Uh, we keep in touch with everybody that goes up there. It, it's just, and Valerie makes sure that you're with the right people and the food. And when you get back, you get a hot soup and homemade bread and homemade cookies. It's just, and and you don't have to bring anything. Bring, like she said, layer, layer, layer. I I did that, and you can always take off stuff, and everything's provided. You don't have to bring fishing poles. You don't have to bring boots or anything. And Tim says hello, and just hello, anybody Tim. who wants to. <laughs> Hi, Val. Hi. Anyways, well, I because well, we missed you. you at- yeah. Uh, and here's about kind of what Bart Hall was just talking about. So I met Marianne and Tim actually at the Pacific Coast show. Uh-huh. And, uh, yes, we had to wait for the pandemic thing because we didn't get to open in 2020. And they patiently waited and came up in 2021. Uh, we got to open the end of July, and we went <coughs> until mid-September. And I paired them up with this father-son. Um, they're up in Cambria. Yeah. And he'd been up before with his wife, and she has a pottery shop up there, by the way. Just a side note, but amazing people. So the whole story is, so they connected, and so they fished with 
um, Mike and um, his grandsons and his son. And they just, anyway, it's really cool. And um, this year they're coming back, and Patty has never met Marianne and Tim. And so they're all fishing together. But this is what this is what Valerie Rob, this is what Valerie does, right? She's like the matchmaker extraordinaire, huh? She is. If she could have a TV show of matchmaking people for fish on boats, fishing on boats, that would be uh, (laughs) okay. (laughs) But that that's one of the parts that makes it so wonderful is that that you just you team up people that with like minds and like uh, experiences, and and it makes for a great day, right? And I'm super excited because they fished, you know, with Mike and Zach. Right. Never Patty. And Patty's like, I like to come up and I'm like, oh, I'm going to put you with uh, Marianne. Yeah, you yeah. know people. Yeah. So you get, the, that's the thing. You get to know people. Yeah, yeah for yeah. sure. Tim hey, guys. So, yeah. so cool. Yeah, go, Rob? Hey, I wanted to get into something about uh, the, um, the, the salmon runs this year with you guys. You guys want to hear about that? Yeah, well, uh, right after the break here, we'll get into that. That sounds we, right. That's yeah. on the list. That sounds yeah. like a good, good I way reminded to, him. Yeah, okay. sounds like a good way to start right. the second hour. <laughs> well, when we come back, we got more Let's Talk hookup coming your way. I want to remind you, spring's just around the corner, so it's time to get that gear ready for summer. Check out surffishtackle.com for all the newest in surf fishing gear and the uh, fishthesurf.com to help make you a better angler when fishing from the beach. we got a whole nother hour, including finding out what's coming up with that upcoming salmon season. You stay tuned. It's Let's Talk hookup on the Mightier 1090. ESPN Radio and the Let's Talk Hook Up app. Back in 1979, my parents started Fast Lane Sailing Center. They lived in a VW van in the parking lot and sold catamaran sailboats. And over the years, the shop has evolved. They've sold everything from windsurfers to barbecues, paddle boards, and trailers. Here's the point. For over 40 years, my parents, and eventually me, my brother Jared, and sister Ava, have been in the business of fun and making memories on the water with friends and family. If something's in the shop, it's a product we use, are passionate and knowledgeable about, and want to share with you. We encourage you to come down to our shop, Fast Lane Kayaking on Mission Bay, and check out our huge selection of Hobie Mirage kayaks, accessories, and more. Now let's get you on the water, fishing with friends, enjoying the coast with your family, or exploring mountain lakes in solitude. In other words, having fun and making memories. When it comes to fishing rods for saltwater, there's just one name you need to know, Calstar. Take, for example, the Graphiter series. It's a true graphite and fiberglass composite rod, the finest that's ever been built. And for anglers seeking traditional performance, durability, and quality at an affordable price, the Calstar West Coast series of rods and blanks are the ones for you. Their master craftsmen bring decades of rod building experience to every rod they make. So if you want your fishing rods to be truly state-of-the-art, I always recommend Calstar at fine tackle stores everywhere. This is Pete, and I hear it all the time. That Jim and Mary at Poway Valley Collision are amazing. I took my car to Poway Valley Collision, mentioned Let's Talk Hookup, and they gave us VIP treatment, fixed our car, and even gave us a special price. Believe me when I say Poway Valley Collision is worth the drive from anywhere in the Southland. At some point, your car will need a body repair, and I'm confident in saying it pays to go to Poway Valley Collision. Our listeners can save hundreds of dollars on your next car or truck repair. They work with most insurance companies, including Auto Club, MetLife, Wawanisa, and more. All you do is call Jim, Mary, or any of their team members, and they do all the rest. No hassles, just top-notch work and VIP treatment. When you take your car or truck to Poway Valley Collision, the job and experience will be top-notch. Get it fixed right at Poway Valley Collision. 14211 Garden Road in Poway. Check PowayValleyCollision.com. In San Diego, the future belongs to everyone. So Ford engineered the truck of the future for everyone. The Ford F-150. Available with a pro-power onboard generator. What a great addition for anglers. There's also a variety of cab configurations for whatever you need to haul. The truck of the future isn't created for just a few. It's created for us who love the ocean and the outdoor life. Ford F-150. Test drive one at your local San Diego County Ford dealer today. They'll be glad to hook you up. 